In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why people choose not to keep the Sabbath. Let's talk about it. praise to the most high Yah, shabbat shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritual episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man it is saturday it is the shabbat it is the day of rest and you see man it is a beautiful day man today i want to talk to you about why people don't keep the shabbat you know no matter what you allow people to warp your mind, you know, and tell you and use all of these $20 words and use all of this fancy education, it's very simple. You see all throughout the Bible that they keep the Sabbath on heaven and earth. You see in Genesis that the Sabbath was kept by the Most High. We see that Messiah, it was his custom to keep the Sabbath. We see that the disciples and the apostles kept the Sabbath. We see that there is a set of instructions for Sabbath keeping. When you lack faith and belief, this is what ultimately allows you to keep a day that has never been commanded. A lack of faith and a lack of belief. And here's the thing, man. You have these uh, Christian theologians that their main job is to teach you and they'll try to explain and try to use all this stuff they learned and carnal wisdom to warp your mind into thinking that Sunday is the Sabbath. And I'm going to give you a simple, uh, a simple test. Go back and do your own research. Pull up the dictionary. Pull up the definition of Sunday. Pull up the definition of Saturday. You're going to see one is the seventh day, and you're going to see the other one is the first day. That's very easy, very simple. Here's another one. When you look at uh, Gregorian calendars, the calendars that we currently use is Gregorian calendars. So when you look at uh, the calendar, there's a reason why you see the letters starting with S, M, T, W, T, F, and then S again. That's the beginning. Why there's a reason why the week starts with Sunday. Sunday is the first day, Yom Day One. We see in Genesis that the Sabbath starts after sunset. You see what I'm saying? And ends at sunset. And the reason, you know, a lot of people that don't have belief and don't have faith don't keep the, the the sabbath because man we live in a rebellious uh world man we live not only in a rebellious world but we live in a uh, a fallen state where people are you look at the world man it's all about convenience people you know keep sunday because it's convenience well i'll go get my hour fixed in the church because you've been told that's where god is that's the, the place where god dwells but the word tells us that he does not dwell in temples made with man hands it tells us that we are the temple of the living god that's why there's so much uh verses in scripture and passage and laws about not defiling your temple you know i'm gonna put a link in here to today's sabbath day teaching about defiling your temple and a, a, a way that you can defile your temple very, very quickly is entertaining those that do not walk in truth, entertaining them through your ears, entertaining them in, in visibly seeing. And the word talks about, you know, people could not enter into that rest, a Sabbath rest, because of unbelief. That's what it comes down to, unbelief and faith. You've placed your faith in uh, what is called replacement theology, supersessionism. You know, I can I can give you so many different uh, instances. You know, even in the book of Acts, they kept the Sabbath over thirty times. Just in the book of Acts alone, you have people that will warp your mind and want to lead you astray by saying Jesus is your rest. 
you have people saying, well, I keep the Sabbath every day. Doesn't it say if a man does not work, he does not eat? Faith without works is dead? I'm telling you, you cannot let these people that have, have submitted their belief system to a system that's not biblical. Replacement theology, you know, supersessionism, is, is, is not a biblical concept. And we can look at history and see when this stuff came about. You know, I'll tell you that Messiah did not create a religion called Christianity. He kept the will of the Father. It was his purpose to keep the will of the Father. Messiah never said he came to save Christians. He said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then he told the woman, he said, great is your faith. She was saying, hey, don't the dogs get the crumbs off the table? So he saw her faith and said, hey, I got to give you some of this. So you got to understand this. You got to start getting more concrete because we are in the last days. If you can acknowledge that we are in the last days with some of the stuff going on in the world, man, it will behoove you to actually read the truth for yourself. Don't let anybody warp your mind by giving you one liners when you yourself can read above and beyond. In the last days, there's going to be many that depart from the faith and there's going to be many that lead people astray. I tell people oftentimes, you have to exercise self-autonomy, independent thinking, and you need to seek out the Most High for yourself. You need to seek out Messiah for yourself. The letter J is less than a thousand years old. So how did we come up with the name Jesus? If you look at etymology, instead of using what the Christians love to use, use an English dictionary to define what you know, and especially in the Old Testament, it's 4,000 years worth of Hebraic Israelite history. They want to try to warp your mind, you know, with concepts that you'll never be able to get to the bottom of without etymology. People will look at words like Easter only being in the Bible one time and will never look at the etymology and realizing that the, the, the root origin of the word is Pesach, Passover. It's time to get concrete in the last days. It's never too late if the Most High Y'all woke you up this morning for you to turn from your wicked ways and humble thyself. Closer to Y'all Ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight. <laughs>